Hey, I'm on my way home. Da, da, da. So, how do you think it worked out? Go on, have a guess. Pause the video. Did you pause? No, of course you didn't. Nobody ever does. The, uh, he didn't turn up. Came in at 8.45 and uh, I, well, the biggest problem was that um, someone came to do something on the network in the, in the building that we're in yesterday and they disconnected us from the network. And because we're on the voice over internet, uh, obviously that pretty much disconnected the phones and disconnected the email. Although I can still, in the event that the internet packs up, it, it, the phone calls are diverted to my phone. So if he'd rung, we would have got in. And I can still get emails on my phone. So um, we never got an email from the doctor. We never got an, e uh, an email or a call from the patient. He just didn't turn up. So quarter past nine, so it was half an hour wasted this morning. And um, anyway, I, I wasn't gonna spend a lot of time on it. So I said to, uh, later on, I said to Ellie, let's uh, ring him up and find out what happened, you know. So I rang him up, oh, hello, hello, mate, hello, mate. He says, I said, what happened? He said, well, he said, did you get anything? I said, no, I didn't get anything. He said, no, I'll get in touch with the doctor. So he got in touch with the doctor and apparently the doctor has posted this letter, right? They've actually, having said that, well, he said that they said that they were going to email it, but but in the end they decided that they were going to post it because that would be quicker, right? So, oh, here we go. So anyway, uh, he said that they, they said they're going to post it, but would it be better if I, uh, uh, if I told them to email it, email the letter? So I said, yeah, well, you know, obviously we'll get it quicker, won't we? So I said, but don't like, don't contact me again. I'll contact, don't ring me, I'll ring you. As soon as we get it, I'll let you know. I said, well, he said, I didn't come in this morning. He said, because oh, I've had a nightmare of a morning. He said, I dropped my daughter off and then I found out I've got a flat tire on my car, you know. No thought at all about ringing the dentist who's way too, who's done you a favour by fitting you in and is waiting for you to come in and have two teeth out. So, this is why we charge people in advance, you know. So that if they don't turn up, they forfeit the money. I don't know why we didn't charge him in advance. Probably because, um, it was all sorted out at four o'clock yesterday afternoon and you know even if we'd uh, cancelled the appointment on the grounds of non-payment we would have when would we have cancelled it at 5 30 an hour later and, and then we even then we wouldn't have filled it so no the whole thing is uh, it doesn't matter you can have the best system in the whole world and the best staff but you're still going to get these edge cases where things don't you know where you can't work the system as, as you as you know you should cool I mean, that's a bit in your face isn't it so anyway that's it so we've um, we may get the letter tomorrow we haven't had the email so, uh, today yet uh, You know, and, and we're still getting people in that we referred for OPGs last August. Uh, come in today and said he hasn't had a, been contacted, so we've given him a copy of his letter, his referral letter, which he knows we referred him because we sent him a copy of the referral letter at the time. <coughs> That's just a tip. Always send a patient a copy of the referral letter because then they know that when you referred them, you know, So, anyway, I'm going to go back home a slightly different way today. I'm going to stay on the dual carriageway, except instead of going left, I'm going to go right. I'm going to go north. Anyway, I said I'd give you an update. So that's the update. He didn't come in. He didn't ring. The doctor hasn't got in touch with us with a letter yet. Uh, and uh, when, he, when he does, then I'll... Uh, know what lane you think you're in. 
because you're driving a Fiat, you think you're in Italy. Anyway, I won't keep you long. I'll uh, talk to you tomorrow. Bye.